Um, I know everybody on the county board received a document from Patty Merrill that uh, kind of laid out where the dollars are best guesstimate on, on our needs and dollars. So from the Human Services Department, the Sheriff's Department, and uh, Public Works. Um, so focusing on, of course, Human Services, uh, when we were asked to come up with where we thought our needs were, uh, certainly we saw potential needs in health, the environmental section when it comes to inspections and maintaining uh, healthy uh, restaurants and clean swimming pools, if there's a hotel over there. Uh, we thought that, that with that additional work would probably add into not necessarily one FT just to do that, but would add more responsibilities, which means we would request another FTE in environmental for sanitarian work. Uh, a public health nurse, um, if there is an increase, uh, some sort of communicable disease outbreak or anything along those lines, uh, immunizations, um, so we added a public health nurse to that list as a possibility. Uh, one economic support worker, meaning uh, if the impact of the casino led to folks losing income um, and having to go on to public aid, uh, we would need help in uh, processing those folks. Um, and then we also added uh, uh, positions for our crisis unit, which we contract with the Commercial Human Development Services to. Uh, Provide that service for us, and we we put down four. You know, all this is, as you said, anticipation or our best guess at the time. Certainly, recognizing that people may have some crisis situations, whether that's an addiction to gambling or alcohol or drugs or um, losing a lot of money and and not knowing what to do and becoming desperate. So, certainly building that out. These are not things that we would at all recognize day one at the casino open. It'd be a process. And, and if the money does flow our way, some of that money could change. It may not that we need that area of a, it's like a public health nurse, but maybe need somebody else in our behavioral health management area. So um, having that ability and flexibility to do that. We also put in uh, money for a half-time adult protective service worker. If there's any type of cases relating to financial fraud or, or excuse me, uh, exploitation, thank you, uh, of our uh, older folks when it comes to the gambling. Um, and also we put in money for um, emergency housing, food, things along that line if, if somebody really hit the skids um, due to some sort of addiction related to it. And then uh, we put in money uh, for um, institutes, meaning if folks do are in significant crisis and need hospitalizations, we'd like some money set aside to help pay for those costs. So that was our best way to address it at the time, uh, recognizing that we view these, these dollars as being, uh, if approved to the IGA, certainly flexible enough for us to meet whatever that community need as it develops as the casino rolls out. Um, I think on the plus side, and this didn't come from us, but certainly we support it um, through negotiations, is the $2.6 million set aside for the Human Service Building, the new building, and able to offset some costs there. So that, that was our thoughts at the time, kind of still what we're thinking. We've called around, Rebecca's done some work calling around with some other counties that have uh, casinos and, and they don't get a lot of money directly back to them just the way those were developed at the time. So we see this as an opportunity to help offset any potential issues that would come our way.